Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about undupable, is that a word? <laughs> it's not, not, it should be a word. Undupable makeup products, in my opinion. So I'm gonna share with you nine products that are high end that I really just have no interest in trying to dupe because they are so good and I haven't found anything comparable as good that would be considered a dupe. So a lot of these will be no surprise to you. Obviously, if I love them, you've heard me talk about them before. I do wanna thank Nordstrom for partnering with me on this video. I love working with Nordstrom every single month. I'm a Nordstrom beauty ambassador and it's such an honor because Nordstrom is one of my favorite places to shop. Um, okay guys, let's get started with the nine makeup products that are undupable. Okay, so first we will start with foundation. If you have any guesses, I'm gonna give you a second to just comment down below. What foundation do you think is undupable in my opinion? So, no surprise, it is a foundation that, you know, I have expressed my love for, for a long time, and I will not stop. It is the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. Now, I love this foundation as one of my most used foundations. Uh, what I love about it is that it is very long wearing. It's very reliable. It's a foundation you can put on in the morning and know that your makeup is gonna look good all day long. It gives very nice coverage, get medium to full, without looking heavy. Now, it is matte, so it's not gonna give you this natural radiant, like a glow or anything at all. They do have a glow version of this. I prefer the matte version. I have, you know, kind of normal skin. It gets a little oilier in the summer. I live in Texas. It's hot and humid. Whether you have oily or dry or normal skin, when you're in Texas, you sweat and you need a foundation that stays on all day. So I love this one. I haven't found anything from the drugstore that would compare to this like perfection in a bottle. I love it. I am the shade 2.5 neutral. I have it on today. I have it on many days that you see me. Um, I love it. It's so, so good. Next up, we have a loose powder and it is a very special loose powder in my opinion, especially for those of us that have oily skin or large pores or texture that you want to minimize and smooth. It is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Loose Setting Powder. I have it in just translucent, which means it has no pigment or color. What I love about this powder is it it just does such a great job of mattifying the skin without looking heavy or dry and also smoothing and blurring out pores. Your skin looks like a porcelain doll once you've applied this. I really love it. When I'm looking for a blurring loose powder, it's really a toss up between this and the It Cosmetics Bye Bye um, powder. What is, is that what it's called? It's the loose pat Bye Bye Pores loose powder. That one also is also great. Um, but I love, love, love this one. Now it is going to give you kind of more of that made up look. So it's going to take any like natural look from the skin and minimize that. It's going to make it look very, very matte. But I love to use this on the days where maybe I'm going to be running around a lot. I'm not going to have time to touch up or look or worry about my makeup or I'm getting ready for an evening and I want to kind of just like seal my makeup and make it like sweat proof, oil proof, keep like make sure and sure that it's going to stay on as long as possible and look good. This is such a wonderful product. Now, if you feel like the two together are a little too matte for your liking, if you apply it, you can always use a setting spray after you've done your makeup and that'll just give it a little bit more of a natural look. It'll basically create the look of your skin producing natural oils and oxidizing over time. It'll like speed that look, that process up a little bit. So it'll make it look a little more natural, but I just love these two together. They are my go-to products for, you know, reliable, makeup that I don't have to worry about. And I haven't found anything that comes close. Okay guys, let's talk about concealer since we are on the topic of complexion. The MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is undupable in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, I have some drugstore concealers that I like very much, but what I love about this one is it's very unique formula. It um, almost feels like a gel-like formula on the skin. It has this very interesting texture to where it's not uber ultra creamy, but it's definitely not dry eye Either. It has a very natural finish underneath the eyes. It doesn't move, it doesn't crease, it doesn't spread. Um, it also gives full coverage. A little, little tiny bit of this goes a long way. You can mess this up if you apply too much of it. So you just wanna use the tiniest of it. When you pump this onto, you know, whatever you pump it on to apply, whether you pump it to the back of your hand or a, or a little um, spatula or whatever you might palette, I don't even use a full pump, you guys. I concentrate and carefully pump about a half a pump, and that'll give me more than enough product for both my under eyes. It also is long wearing, hence the name, and I can just put this on and know that I'm gonna look flawless and full covered all day, all night long. Love, love, love. Okay, let's talk about a blush. Now, this is definitely a splurge, but it is so good. I would probably say this is my 
all-time favorite blush of the year so far. I've, I think I discovered this product. I discovered it in the last year, maybe six months. I have no like understanding of time. Sometimes I think it's been you know, two months and it was eight months ago. So, um, the Westman Atelier, I think it's called the baby cheeks blush stick is the official name in the shade petal. I love, love, love this formula. When I, I actually discovered this months and months ago when I was working with Nordstrom and I was shopping for new product to try. And I'm so glad that this was the first product from Westman Atelier that I ordered. Westman Atelier has a lot of wonderful, beautiful formulas and products, but this hands down is my favorite. And I'm so glad that this was the first product because it really made me like want to discover and learn more about Westman Atelier. And I've ordered a lot of other products and I love them all. But this, what I love about the formula, this, I have this on right now, it's called Petal. It's very very pigmented, but it's very easy to work with. So you might apply it on the skin and feel like that's a lot of, of color. Blend it out with your brush or your finger or your sponge, and you can just kind of blend it to your liking. You can, you know, barely tap it and keep a lot of that pigment, or if you can, you know, dab your sponge or your brush, and it'll slowly start to shear the product out. It gives a beautiful natural glow. Do you see that? But it's not pearlescent, so it's not going to like, you know, maximize or make more obvious any texture that you have. It is so beautiful. The packaging, you know, is it's just stunning. It's minimal and simple. It's weighted. It's heavy. It feels like such a luxury product and it performs like a luxury product. Really love this blush and this particular shade. I also have Chauchette. I'm sure you guys remember. You don't need them both. They're very similar. Petal runs a little bit more pink and a little deeper, but Chauchette also has some pink to it and it's a little bit lighter. Um, this is oh, so good. If you do, if you buy anything from this video, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, next let's hop over to an eye, a couple eye products. So the MAC Paint Pots, I kind of like pondered over including it in this video, but I really love the MAC Paint Pot formulas. You know, that's a product that I've used for, since they launched, I worked at MAC Cosmetics when they launched this product actually. So I remember that, I mean, what is that? 15 years ago or more? Um, I have the shade Ochre, Soft Ochre, and that is a wonderful kind of basic uh, shade to use as a primer. It'll also cancel out any like veins on the eyes or brighten the eyelids if you have darker eyelids. This is the shade Lay In Low, and I love this shade. It comes off is like a very soft peachy brown, um, kind of like a skin tone color, but a little bit warmer. Um, if you're lighter than me, it's going to come off more peach. If you're darker than me, it's going to come off a little bit lighter, obviously. But this is such a beautiful formula. It's very, it's like creamy when you first apply it. So you have a lot of time to spread and move it. But once it sets, it stays in place and it doesn't budge. Now you can use these a couple of ways. You can use them as an eyeshadow primer. So put it on the eyelid and then put shadow on top of it. It's basically going to work like a glue for your shadow. So if you apply your shadow before it has time to set and dry, your shadow will stick to it and it'll make the eyeshadow more vibrant, more pigmented. Um, it'll also keep it from creasing throughout the day. You can also wear this as a shadow alone and that is what I love about this particular shade. I will just put this on and I'll throw maybe a color in my crease but I'll leave this on my lid and I'm good to go. That's actually what I did today. So I have lay and low all over. Now, basically you're seeing it in the lighter side because I added a dark color in my crease and a dark color in my outer corner, but I didn't put any shadow on top of it on my lid. Um, but the formula is really nice and I haven't found a cream shadow formula um, that would be a dupe and, and as good and comparable to the MAC Paint Pots. Okay, so I have two eyeliner, eye crayon kind of, um, categories. <laughs> so first let's talk about the long wear cream shadow stick from Bobbi Brown. Hands down my favorite formula in this type of product. It is creamy. It glides on so effortlessly. You have time to work with it and spread it out with your finger or brush if you want to, but once it sets, it sets. And these are beautiful. It's the perfect like lazy girl makeup day product because you can just use it as eyeshadow, blend it on the lid, blend it out, or you can use it as eyeliner. I actually use it as eyeliner today. Um, they come in a range of shades. I personally love the shade Golden Bronze. It's just a nice like, like neutral. Obviously it's neutral and bronze, but it's not too too gold and it's not too silver. It's kind of in between the two. It's just so beautiful. I love this shade and this formula. Again, I've tested and tried so many of these types of like cream shadow sticks and there are some other good ones. I also like the Laura Mercier caviar sticks, but this one I think is just the best. It is really, really the best. I've tried the elf ones from the drugstore and those are nice too. Um, but you know, when it comes to like rich and creaminess and pigment, 
this one can't be beat. Okay, let's talk about, let me throw in this new eyeliner actually that I picked up. It's a new eyeliner to MAC. It is called the Gel Pencil. It's Color Excess Gel Pencil. I got it in two shades. I got the shade Sick Tat Bro <laughs> and I got Serial Monogamist, okay? Now Sick Tat Bro is more of like a kind of chocolate bronze. It doesn't have any shimmer to it. These are really nice and they're like a gel product but in a pencil. So it has, it glides on so nice. It's ultra pigmented. Once they are on, they stay in place and set. Do you see that? They're mechanical pencils, but they have a nice sharpened tip to it. So I've just been experimenting with these the last couple of days and I really like it. If you like a gel liner, but you wanna um, work in a pencil format and not have to have a brush or a pot or anything like that, definitely check these out. This is a new product from MAC. Okay, but I'm not throwing this into my dupes. This was just a little add on bonus mention. Okay, hands down, hands down, hands down. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Charlotte Tilbury, when you made this product, I think you made it for me. It's the Color Chameleon Eyeshadow Stick, Color Chameleon Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Amber Haze. This guy's like, this guy's kind of at his end here and he's like, I need to sharpen him, but the color of this product is just stunning. So beautiful. Now this is a chubby crayon stick. I personally use this always as eyeliner. It is gorgeous. I think it'll be gorgeous on all eye colors. Um, hazel eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. I mean, it's just it's just one of those beautiful complimentary colors to everyone. Um, this is when I tra I've been traveling a lot lately over the last year and I'll just bring this in mascara. Um, I, don't, I won't even pack shadows sometimes when we're going to the beach. It's so beautiful. It stays in place. It is a chubby stick, but if you keep it sharp, you can get a nice, not a thin eyeliner. It's definitely not thin. You're gonna get a little bit of a chunkier eyeline, but I love it. It's so beautiful. You can also color on the lid and smudge it out and create a shadow look. Maybe I should try that. I just use it as an eyeliner, but it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this. Okay, guys, we have two more products to share. Um, I'm gonna throw in, I had to throw this in because I definitely feel like this is undupable. I have been using this for a decade or more. It is the Dior um, Lash Maximizer, Maximizer 3D. It's a lash primer. It conditions the lashes and improves the health of your lashes, but it also makes your lashes look amazing when you put mascara on. Today, I have the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, and I can definitely tell the difference when I use this in days that I don't. My lashes are much more dramatic. It's basically gonna make the mascara that you use perform even better. Um, now, using it every day will also improve the health of your lashes. So if you are working on growing your lashes and you use a lash serum, using this daily is gonna assist and help with that. And I definitely feel that's true. Um, so I love this, it's undupable. I've tried lash primers from the drugstore that um, you know will kind of intense the intensify the mascara, but this one's just the best. It is just the best. It's not too, like it doesn't make the mascara clump. It doesn't, it's just, it's nice and lightweight on the lashes, but it gives like high impact. Love, love. Okay, you guys, the last product, this might be a surprise because I know I've talked about this a little bit. Look at this, these MAC liners. Okay, now they're coming off because I'm really, really scrubbing, but I went over it and it wouldn't, they wouldn't even budge. Okay. Let me talk about this lip product. I have been using this, um, I think these launched in the last year. It's by NARS. It's the Air Matte Lip Color, the shade Dolce, Dolce Vita. This is such a unique formula. It's not quite like a liquid lipstick, but kind of like a liquid lipstick. It has the texture. You might think you're about to apply a liquid lipstick and then you feel it on the lips and it has this very like velvety, pillowy feel to the lips. It is beautiful. It also fills in lines and texture on the lips, so it gives the illusion of more plump and full lips without having the gloss look to the lips. Um, the color is, you know, it stays on, it's long wearing. I mean, it will transfer a little bit, not quite like a, you know, true liquid lipstick, but I'll put this on and it'll last through eating or drinking. I mean, I rarely have to touch up. I love this shade in particular. It's just a nice, pretty kind of soft pink. I haven't found a formula like this, quite like this at the drugstore. Now I have found some good, you know, lip kind of stains or light liquid lipsticks from the drugstore, but nothing like this, nothing that has the same texture and feel on the lips. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. It's very lightweight too. Very pigmented, very opaque, lots and lots of color, but it feels lightweight on the lips. I love this. Okay, friends, those are my undupable products. 
what do you think? Do you have undupable products? Like, are there products that you are, you know they're a splurge, but they're so good that you could just continue to go back and buy them and you haven't found anything in comparison? Can you let us know down below? Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you Nordstrom for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.